very good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome to Maldives right now I'm in a local island which is called Ukulas and it's actually in the central part of Maldives and Maldives has so many islands in the north in the south in the middle and I'm in in one of those which is like one of the tiny ones actually and it's just beautiful here so and I want to show you the lifestyle here also I want to start the video with showing you where I stay because when you think about Maldives the first thing we think is the honeymoons luxury resorts and the prices are super high and um, prices in the resorts can go up to two thousand five hundred dollars and more even so but I'm going on a budget in this trip even though I call it budget still it's not super budget friendly but I'm paying for this room 80 American dollars per night which is super nice if you're sharing it with someone actually you can have it for $40 per person I think it's a great price to be in this paradise and enjoy this amazing piece of islands in the in the middle of the Indian Ocean so let's start with the room then I'm gonna show you around and maybe we go for a lunch and do some activities this is the nice clean and bright room I have we have a double bed which is just in the middle of the room so it's quite looks nice clean so two people comfortably can sleep here and we have a little open wardrobe here which gives you lots of space to put your stuff and i'm probably gonna open my luggage right here it comes with a water dispenser so there is a hot water available there's also room temperature water available which is great this is actually first time i see the hotel room have such a thing which is great and as always there's also basics here there are a few coffees sugar and tea if you want to make uh, tea for yourself obviously there is no water boiler so you can use the hot water from the water dispenser there's a little lamp which took my attention which is very interesting it opens up like this and then just pull it and uh, locate it as you wish which looks super cute and very nice and then we have a uh, views to the island itself but they also have the rooms with the sea view and from here you can also see the ocean and you can see how people are traveling it's just incredible this island is really really nice and uh, I've been only in Male so far and I've been here which is incredible and on the opposite side of the bed there's actually a place where you can work there's a TV we have a fan included in the price we also have the air conditioning comes with it and you definitely need air conditioning in a tropical island it can get really hot if you are not using any type of uh, fan or air conditioning so outside it's really hot unless you are in the water swimming of course you are enjoying your time and there's an entrance door next to it there's a big mirror and if you follow me for a while you know that I love big mirrors because why not it's beautiful and in this area we have the toilet and the shower so it's quite tiny not so much space here but I'm sure it's gonna be comfortable so we have the toilet we have the little sink right here in front of it and as a mirror and on the left side we can find the shower with a rain head looks incredible and we also have the handle it comes also with the shampoo and the body wash which is uh, coming in uh, recyclable uh, bottles beautiful this is the overview of the room guys I hope you like it which looks clean nice as I said if you are two people $40 per person so you don't have to st spend $500 $600 in the resorts um, you can come stay in the local places enjoy the area get the similar experiences obviously the resorts includes everything and has different vibe than local life here and there are little coffee shops there are little restaurants uh, there's always space at the beach where you can lay down without people and uh, amazing I'm gonna show you more details as part of this video and uh, we will see you later thank you so much for watching until now you obviously we cannot forget about the views and the terrace there's also a little pool here at the top of the hotel 
let me give you a little test of uh, Ukula's Island. Check this beautiful views out, guys. We have a amazing little beach right there with a white sand. And we have a very clear water. You can see there are lots of people are snorkeling at the moment. It's probably one of the best spots to go in. And you can see lots of fish. All you see black things you see here. Those are all small fish and then the sharks are chasing them. And that's how they change the shape. Let me show you the pool as well. There's a little bar right here, but I'm not sure if it's working at the moment. Here we go. This is the little pool area. It's more like an infinity pool. You can see the views. And this is the another side. Ooh. Wow, this is the fish I was talking about. You can see. Some of the parts are chasing, changing the shape and that's where the sharks are chasing all the small fish. So it's a breakfast time for them. So I've been spending most of my time right here at this beach. But you can also go to the other side. And the island is not so big. Actually it ends right here. So you can just actually run around it in 10 minutes maybe or even less. There's also a place where you can chill. Yeah, and there's also some islands in the distance. You can see right one here, and there's one behind, and then and there's one right there. It's incredible. Especially the colors, the color combination with white and then shades of blue. As you can see, it's super clear right here, and then it gets much deeper at the edge. That's where the people are snorkeling at the moment. And that's where you see bigger fish and uh, sharks and other animals. Incredible. It's beautiful. You can spend basically your time here. Uh, I see there's also little gym items. Check this out. If you feel like uh, working out, there are some dumbbells. Not sure. Ah, it's not so heavy. Maybe three kilos so looks like a homemade basically so yeah, that includes basically your breakfast for $80 you have a very nice room and on top of that you have a very nice pool with the views and this is actually the highest hotel in this area which is functioning at the moment and it's called Ranthari this is the name of the hotel my lift is here yes almost so i'm going for a breakfast uh we're gonna get some coffee so i will see you in a while i am gonna introduce to you someone from india see you later in ukulas island there are around three long streets which is not actually too long and this is one of them which is by the beach side and on my left side there is a, there is a nice places where you can chill let me show you tips of it there is no people actually at the moment I think this is kind of like a private area but you can access to the beach from here as well and there is no restriction so no one actually owning the beach which means you can lay down anywhere you wish and if you find any some beds you can actually take it without asking so if you see it free it's yours for the whole day as long as you stay there and uh, also at the beach side there's no restrictions there might be some businesses but you don't have to buy something to be there check this out we have a little falling tree right here i'm gonna show you more details once we have our coffee session so I've been spending a few days here actually without filming. I really wanted to enjoy my lives myself without focusing on making videos. So I met some people here, which been incredibly nice. And there's a one coffee spot. I regularly come here. So I want to get a coffee, get a, some snack for breakfast. Uh, still early morning. It's not too hot. It's 11 a.m. at the moment. And this is the little cute cafe I should call it snack place coffee place as you want to wish it brother how are you 
I am back for a nice coffee. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, good. I'm making a YouTube video. Is it okay for you? Yeah, okay. yeah? Perfect. What's your name? Nino. Nino. Okay. So I'm coming here maybe last five, six days. Every day Nino making a coffee for us. And they also have some fresh bakery every morning. And Nino actually contacting us, reserving our cakes. I'm still, <laughs> still waiting for some more. Items. Yeah, more more items are coming. Yes, nice. Yeah. What what is this one? It's a apple pie. Apple pie. Perfect. I'm gonna have uh, one apple pie, please. Yeah. And uh, I will have also ice latte, as cold as possible. So. Yeah, I will probably sit uh, somewhere. Is it busy? There are lots of people. Yeah, it's okay. I will uh, I will take the coffee and go and find my place. And Nino is from India, from Kerala, right? Yeah. From Kerala. And which uh, which city are you from? Near to Kerala, a yeah. uh, place called uh, Martaka. Martaka, okay. I haven't Martaka. been there. I only been uh, Kochi and Aleppo. Yeah, so it's uh, between the uh, Kanyakumari and uh, Okay, uh, okay. No, uh, it's between, yeah. between them. Okay, perfect. That sounds great. So I did the uh, Kerala tour a few months back. I went to Kochi, then I went to Aleppo. Did the backwaters, been incredible. So. And how long are you working here? Now this cafe I work now like six months. No, but in Maldives? Only almost sixteen years. Sixteen years? Oh, I was I remember it as a six, but it's sixteen. 16. Oh wow, that's a really long time. So, that's crazy. But it's like a, it's like a re-entry in this island after five years here. And in five years, where have you been? In India. Ah, you went to back back for five years, yeah. and then you yeah, you I've come been back. Now here, now one year six months. One year and six months. Yes, Incredible. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. 16 years. So basically, most of your life you spend here in, in Maldives. Yes, Maldives. Yeah, <laughs> then India. Now only, now only trying to go to other countries. Nice. But uh, I think Maldives is a, such a great place to be, definitely. But home is always home, right? Yeah. Uh, even though. But it's uh, good when something you have some uh, difficulties, then you have to go to other country, you feel better. Yeah, exactly. I exactly. feel better here. Yeah. That's uh, that's the case with uh, most of the workers here too. Like uh, there are lots of foreigners who is working in the hotel industry, cafe industry too, and uh, they are from Sri Lanka, they are from uh, India. There are some people from Bangladesh, Nepal. So basically, South Asian people because it's easy to arrive here. I, I met one Balinese girl too. So there was one Balinese girl, but there's more Balinese girls. more Balinese people here. Yeah. Okay, Bali, I think more than five five people. Five people. Five people. Okay. Nice. Less than ten, like boys and girls together, like ten people. Ten people, Balinese. all right. And Philippines. So Philippines, Balinese, everyone basically from the Asia area. But mostly people who's working here are from the South Asia, so India, Pakistan, Nepal, and uh, Sri Lanka mainly too. So there is another cafe here where Sri Lankans are working. We're gonna go visit there as well. And uh, yeah, of course we need to get our coffee. So you can get here any cold drinks you wish for, you can get some juice, um, you can get bakery. We don't have so many choices, but when, it, when it's there, it's super fresh and it disappears in a few minutes, right? <laughs> All right, brother, how much uh, is the price? Uh, for Just a coffee so or ice coffee is four dollars, yeah? yeah? Okay, give three dollars. Four dollars and this one? Three dollars. Three dollars, all right. So these are the prices guys here in, in Ukulas. Very interestingly, there's no, uh, you don't see the local money much. Mostly tourists are here. So you see the dog in dollars. So four dollars, you can get espresso for three dollars. Latte five, so maximum is five dollars. All right, we are paying four dollars plus uh, three dollars for the cake. It's gonna be seven dollars, and I don't have a dollars. What what's the local money now? It's uh, one hundred five. I give you one hundred five. Yeah. All right. And they have a super colorful money. This is actually five hundred, and it's a plastic filling. It's just beautiful. All right, brother. There's a five hundred. Ooh, look at this coffee. Looks great. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me show you maybe more money. Um, yeah, or may, yeah, wait, or or just uh, just on hand, like uh, tissue maybe. We also have 
different type of money here. This one is a hundred. A reddish colors. There's always some beautiful design here. This one is a fifty. It's the back side. I think it looks like a lighthouse. And then there's a gentleman climbing to a coconut tree. I like the money here, it's super colorful. Yeah, they have uh, different meanings. They have the people climbing the coconut tree. Yeah, 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 exactly. There's uh, different drawings in each, which is very nice. Alright, it's a time for uh, apple pie. You called it apple pie? Yeah, we do apple cake or apple pie. Different apple people. cake, I will call it apple cake. Yeah. I think the pies have to be shaved like round, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. so Something it's like apple like pie. cake. Yeah. Perfect, we have a coffee, we have a little piece of uh, apple cake which cost us 7 American dollars in ukulas. Beautiful, thank you so much. Um, I can take the change later, yeah. oh you give me late now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This place is also yours, I can sit there? Yeah, you can sit there. I can sit anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not ours, but it's, it's okay. Yeah, I can sit anywhere. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Here's uh, this for you. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. Now challenge is to carry my cake while okay. holding my camera. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm uh, used to this stuff. Thank you. You're See you. <laughs> All right. We are gonna go check out uh, what are the places where we can sit and enjoy. I think this place looks uh, less empty because the, this is the business which is not functioning at the moment. So we're gonna go enjoy sitting here and also showing you the views. Ooh, look at this. This is where you can chill. As I said, everything is free here. So you don't pay for, for a seat or anything. I think uh, here, I don't wanna bother people. So I'm gonna sit somewhere here. Talk to the camera while people are sitting very close. Ah, okay, I think I know. For now, let's chill at here. Enjoy our coffee and then we go to show you the ocean. And afterwards, we go to the other side of the island to see what's expecting us there. So, the island is like super small, which means there is actually they have their own. Uh, school they have their own healthcare center basically hospital they have their own mosque i think there are two mosques actually in this island and if you don't know maldives is actually islamic country so uh, which means the islam is the main uh, religion here basically the island is so isolated and it's even the electricity they generated on their own on the island so they have their big generators which works actually with fuel and then they're generating the fuel with the fuel um, energy for the whole island which is incredible and makes me think how crazy is that the people and the humans can adapt to any environment because we are just in the middle of the Indian Ocean and there is nothing uh, only thing this island has is the coconuts bananas and that's it there you cannot plant anything you cannot grow anything and um, it's very hard to ship things so it fascinates me to see how people can survive in in such a places so easily um, obviously everything is like um, logistically exported so they don't have shortage of anything on the island so you can find your pizza pasta and you can get your burgers um, obviously it's becoming more uh, touristic but still I feel like the island is not too touristic you will see at the beach that there's not so many people all right let's uh, test oh, 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 oh almost dropped our cake this is how our cake looks like these are made freshly every morning so this is this is the reason I love coming here uh, even if it's not morning I come normally after lunch or dinner mmm super good they also make uh, brownies and other stuff. There was a cookies available too. And obviously good coffee is uh, very important for me. It's 
so nice, so relaxing. You can hear the kids are playing around. So when you think of a heaven, when you think of a paradise, these are the colors and these are the atmosphere, I guess, we are wishing for from the other life. Oh, first sip of the coffee in the morning. So good. So right now it's uh, almost 11 a.m. And it's not too hot. Around 1 to uh, p.m. it will get really hot. So it will be the best time to be at the sea. Uh, or maybe the worst time. <laughs> Depends uh, what you prefer. But I like when it's really hot and uh, you can swim instead of sitting here while you are sweating a lot. So uh, I will show you the other side of the island. We are gonna go for actually getting some uh, views to the to the hospital. Uh, even, we will not go to inside, but I want to show you, and so you have imagination how it looks like. Actually, you can check out the school from the outside and see if there are any kids. Uh, last time when I was there, there was actually performance. I wish I could capture that, but probably it's middle of the day. The kids will not be outside, but I will show you as much as I can. See you in a while. Let me show you the colors of the ocean. How beautiful it is. How amazing it looks. Look at this. There's a little shark, baby shark. It's a little baby shark and you can see the black area. That's all fish. Let me, uh, let me take out my shoes. Let's put my phone and the wallet here somewhere. Take out my socks so I can go in, show you everything. Ooh. Let's check out the... Look at this baby shark. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at this. And the water is so clear while you are standing here you can see almost everything and then these are the lots of small fish here which they are hanging around if you go close to them they're gonna basically run away but you can see from the color all this black area it's actually a small fish and then shark I think gonna turn around from there and then come back to this area it's incredible so this is a long beach so basically there is a sand everywhere around the island so you can actually access to the sea easily and everywhere is quite nice clean there are, you can see lots of uh, trees where it makes you shadow so you can chill relax there are also um, uh, some beds and then chairs you can relax and chill check out the views you can also enjoy the sunset, which happens normally in this area. So yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, I wouldn't wouldn't wish anything more than uh, being here. Maldives just been incredible, and I want to show. Also, I'm sharing my my on my Instagram on the stories uh, how much things are costing and. Uh, how it's actually easy to do the budget traveling in Maldives so it's not only about honeymoons it's not just about being here in a resort and actually not getting the taste of the islands not understanding how people live here because it's not only resorts in Maldives but there are lots of local people half a million people uh, living here on those 1000 plus islands so they have their own culture they have their own lifestyle and uh, yeah they are a big part of the community here, basically. So it's not just Maldives is not just about resorts and blue waters and the white sand. There are much more comes with it. Look at this. When the shark gets into the water, all the fish running around. Sometimes they actually jump out of the water. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to capture that. It happens not regularly, but I think when the big fish come, they're all laid. Sounds like a rain. In the water all right I'm gonna proceed further I want to show you more details so I think next is the school and we can go check out the other cafe which is on the other end so I will put my shoes and I will see you in a while
I am hearing some sounds. Something is happening in the boat fixing area here. Check this out. We have all these old boats here. I think they are pulling something. I want to see what they are doing exactly. Oh, there are so much trash here. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Oh, how are you, brother? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> oh, they are trying to push the boat to the water. That's what's happening. There's all these woods. Should be super heavy. I don't know if I can help somehow. I'm not so sure. Okay, let's try to help. Oh. They have to move more stuff to the front and we push further. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs> Looks very hard job. <laughs> They're talking in a local language. But everyone is smiling, that's most important. They're having fun. And we're not too far from the water. I think from here it's going to be a little easier to push it because it's kind of sloped. Alright, I can help you guys. Push? Okay. No problem. <laughs> oh. Almost there. <laughs> Almost in the water. Oh, wow. Now it's super hot. Sweating like crazy. This is the boat making uh, place. They're making something big there. Or they're destroying it, I'm not so sure. So much logistics. Almost there. I think we need to lift it now. Mashallah! Nice! <laughs> Good job! Oh, that was a uh, hard work. Lots of energy. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you too, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. I think what happened exactly is that people from the village comes in helping one gentleman to push it these are old uh, or maybe new boats possibly old boats not completely sure where you're from i'm from azerbaijan yes where are you from from here yeah it's a muslim majority country correct yes and where are you from from here my mom is from india and dad is from Maldives. Ah, I'm from, nice. I'm from Dangeti, it's a nearby island, and this is my wife's island. Ah, nice, beautiful, amazing. But uh, you have Maldivian passport. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And Indian yeah, passport I too. Live, I, I, I have been living in Maldives like yeah. all my life only. In nice, nice. Sometimes I go to India, but. Yeah, I love India. I've been there two times and planning to which go again. Place, which place? I did the north one time, so like Delhi, Agra, that area, oh, yeah, yeah. Jaipur, and then after went to Kerala. Uh, I've been Kerala, to... my mom is from yeah? Kerala. Yeah, nice. Kerala is nice. Nice people, yeah. yes. very friendly. I've been yeah, to backwaters. Ah, nice. Beautiful. 
Where, where's the door? Yeah. Ah, there is the door. Okay. Very nice. So how many people? How many people live here? It's like uh, there are. I mean, my mother-in-law's family or uh -huh. like children's only live. So okay. Yeah, but there are one, two, three, five families. Five people. Children, yeah. And like, is it a my big house? Wife and, my wife and my three children uh -huh. and like brothers wife and his two and children and like family it, like yeah, it. yeah yeah so five families too. five families in yeah. one house yes. wow is it big house or small house no, it's like no not, not very big not like big just okay for everyone one or two rooms okay so. okay very nice beautiful all right you are vlogger uh, yes i make videos yeah, yeah i go i've been to india i've been to uh, nepal yeah. pakistan sri lanka so travel yeah. a lot assalamu alaikum brother how are you very good very good nice <laughs> his wife's brother ah nice nice mashallah Beautiful, yeah, if you uh, have YouTube, I would yeah. love to show you. Yeah, yeah, everyone have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I, I make videos, I mean, I have, I also have a channel, but yes. my channel is a little bit different. Nice. Like, I make reviews or something like oh, this. Oh, show me. Things like this, uh, app, app review, ah, a mobile okay, application. Okay, okay. So wow, you have 500 subscribers, amazing. <laughs> It's good. Why right? everyone starts from somewhere? Which yeah, is yeah. Amazing. This is like this is my Arabic video. Ah, I okay. made. I know a little bit Arabic. You, ah, speak, you speak Arabic? Arabic? No, I don't. In my country, we speak Turkish. Turkish. Yeah, yeah. Which is different. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so it's, it's are... we speak like Azerbaijanian, uh. which is our uh, mother tongue, but which is similar to Turkish. So, let's see. Ah, I write my name. It comes yeah, first, yeah. which is uh. a great sign. Uh, so okay, now okay. I'm sharing a Bangladesh Good. videos and uh, probably will be Sri Lanka and then after uh, we will share some more. Hi. Hi, how are you? Morning. What's your name? Kino, Go, going to swim, huh? It's a nice suite Moda here. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, she's uh, so small. Yes, he, just now, well, brother went, no? He's, ah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, it, he's two. It, these are the kids uh, of yeah, him. him. Ah, yeah. nice. My, I have three. Three, you have yeah. three. Wow. Three yeah. So everyone has lots of kids here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tradition. Yeah, it's like Muslim culture. Yeah. So, so lots yeah. of kids and yeah. family oriented, yeah. Yeah, which family is amazing. Yeah. Yes. So Beautiful. most of the people live together. Most nice. Of, yeah, in nice. islands. It's... So you live here or you go to that no, different island I, you said? I, I live here. You live here yeah. now. Yeah. Now right. I have been here for two years now. Two years. Yeah. Nice. Amazing. It's a beautiful place to live in. Yes. And how's the life here? Is it hard for you? Is it easy? How do you make money, no, for example? It's actually, it's easy. Yeah? Because, like... Uh, it's a relaxing no, life? Uh, it's, it's like uh, opportunities depend on different islands. Uh -huh. Like, for example, some islands, there are few opportunities. Yes. Because, like, fishing is one good opportunity. But if there is no boat for fishing means, uh -huh. that opportunity is gone, right? And we have... And tourism. I mean, we have government officers, uh -huh. like council, we have many jobs, like 13, 15 jobs or uh -huh. 20 jobs. And in council, council members, we have like five councillors. Uh, council members, yeah. okay. And school so also, we have a lot of jobs. Teachers, teachers. And, yeah. and health center, we have a doctor job and nurse jobs. Nice. And that, that, that are the main uh, government bodies. And also there's one uh, electro, uh, like powerhouse uh -huh. that is owned by is, telco this is the power is this the powerhouse yeah this, is, this is the water or it's a pot it's, it's, it's water a, yeah. it's water or but fuel it's water i think this yeah. is a, f yeah. a water tank yeah, and then it pushes there and then you make the energy with fuel here yeah it is fuel fuel yeah. fuel the, for yeah. your rented okay yeah. but the like there are two offices of them like i mean telco this is the office part. okay there is powerhouse. Powerhouse, like yeah, I've, I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, it's a blue, blue building, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, that is the powerhouse. Yeah, yeah. Blue color is there, like the okay. Telco brand color. So you need to be engineer to work there, I guess. No, not supposed to. You can start from scratch. Also. Yeah, yeah, nice. So government give jobs there. What happened? What and happened? Why are you that, crying? That are the main <laughs> government jobs, and then local tourism yeah. yeah so guest houses so there are opportunities but yeah, opportunities less in, people less jobs basically no it, it like it's like uh, if you want to work in the island these are the jobs Job, mainly yeah, yeah. and shop shop jobs and yeah, things. yeah and if you want to work in a resort or going to Mali some uh -huh. people if they're in to the like island it? if they don't have good opportunities they go to Mali correct and they work or go to resort yes so we have 189 islands in Maldives. Yeah. People live in 180. 180, islands. but there are 1,000 islands, right? Yeah, 1,100. But not, not all of them yeah. are uh, habitable. Uh, yeah, for, uh, the full 
island uh, islands are 1190 uh -huh, okay and but 200 people, uh, of them people live people live 189 oh wow so. and there are 100 plus resorts nice the restaurant and empty island nice nice empty, nice yeah. beautiful so basically opportunities are here working yeah, here with the console like, school yeah, hospital there are jobs lot yeah. and i work in social media ah, content, yeah, nice, content creator nice what you yeah. do for I, for I, the island or no, for resorts I, no no i work for two three businesses ah, like nice. i make content for them are they so you are yeah. social media manager <laughs> yeah like yeah, yeah. SSM. so i make uh, advertisement for yeah, them like yeah it's called smm i think uh, that's yeah, the, yeah. and uh, are those businesses are here on the island or somewhere it is else? work from home work like, from yeah. but but the businesses are they here no the uh, male male ah, in male okay yeah. nice so ah, that's amazing so you just need internet some yeah, ideas yeah. and a little time yeah. perfect well done brother yeah. it's been a big pleasure thank you so much yeah. for explaining me yeah. things yeah okay. i'm gonna check out uh i think this is the this is the hospital how long you have been here uh, I've been here almost one week now. Yeah. yeah. Is this the hospital? No. Let me show. I can show you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Ah, it was the ride. Okay. Way, and the kids? <laughs> you go to sea. You go to swim. Bull, bull, bull. Nice. <laughs> She's so cute. She's like so small with a beautiful dress, and she also has a little gold on her hand. How cute is that? Actually, both hands. Ah, both hands has a gold. <laughs> nice you have a nice gold and then matching with the color of her skin how beautiful is this <laughs> i think she wants something but i don't know what she wants all right i think the gentleman gonna show us some places which i would really appreciate the opportunity and what is this building brother that is the council building ah this is the council so council himself is here yeah. and uh nice so where you take me now Let's see. Around. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Oh, how cool is this? I think uh, he has time. <laughs> uh, the island life is so chill here. Everyone has so much time. Everyone's relaxed. No one is rushing anywhere. No one is angry, which is incredible. Thank you, boss. Are you a good driver? Yes. <laughs> Like, I'm I'm so surprised that uh, people have bikes here because you can basically walk anywhere. Yeah, but we want to walk fast. Walk faster. <laughs> so they're no, getting the. Have, like, this whole building is council building. Ah, council. Ah, in, police post. Inside council building, they give small portion for police. Ah, okay, okay. So, so there's so a police here. This much, this much area for police. Police, small okay. Small area. Are there Just, criminals in this island? No, no. Like, <laughs> I mean, like there are many criminals, but. Uh, here, no jail. Uh, no jail. Yeah. Only, only in case uh, you do something bad, they come to your door. Yes, this is council, like ah, full, this is full, council full, house. full area. Nice, and beautiful. Next, this is court, judiciary. Ah, that's a court. Wow, they have a court even. That's cool. There's a court? Maldivian flag there. Yeah, this is, is this, this is Singapore judiciary. flag. No, this is judiciary flag. This is Maldivian judiciary. Flag. Yeah, wow, looks like a Singaporean flag yeah, with the star is, on it. This is Maldivian flag. That's a Maldivian yeah, flag. Here we have one judge and like one two, judge. Yeah, three, four staffs, and uh, the there will be mostly marriage, divorce, uh -huh. and uh, inheritance are the okay, main. So things. one one judge judge whole island. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, sometimes if sometimes if there's no judge okay. in the island from the at all someone will come ah, here, like will other, come. other right. island judge this is one mosque ah this is the one mosque which ah. is the in the central part there is another one actually yeah, very we close have three, to the harbor three mosque we have three, three mosque, mosque here yeah. okay i said and two but there here, are two three. here we have uh, like uh, the imam is blind uh -huh. the, oh, imam. the imam is blind here yes, yes. wow yeah so he, and we also have a local scholar in this island yeah i, I want to see the school if it's possible yeah yeah we'll go Definitely. okay this is the mosque guys in the distance and they have their in, own imam like blind imams are there in Maldives. like uh, people who are blind men they apply for they study uh, like quran and they become imam okay this is the uh telco ah that's powerhouse. the powerhouse okay this yeah. is the powerhouse that's where the whole energy comes this is desolation plant yeah wa water plant. ah this is a water okay water okay, okay 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 Oh, no photos, no videos allowed. Okay, <laughs> we are not supposed to be here. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. 
So it's so cool that there's no energy cuts on the island. So yeah, they yeah, have energy all the time, which is amazing. And this is health center. Yeah, this is the hospital basically. Yeah. So if anything happens to you, you come here. There's a pharmacy too. Oh, this ah, this is the pharmacy? <laughs> wow! So this much um, oh, so medicine cool. we need. And this is wow. the uh, football ground, but this now is they are. Small pharmacy, how cool is this? Renewing, they're renewing yeah. the football ground. Okay, the ah, project is going. so they are, they're going to make a bigger field, yeah, right? They are, I think tough. tough. Yeah, nice, yeah. amazing. So there's a reconstruction going on at the moment. This looks cool. That's actually a very good sign because I was thinking, ah, maybe they sold it to the resort or something. No, no, no. no it's actually good. They are renovating it uh, for, for the kids, for the future of the nation. Wow, they have an ambulance car. You want to take ah, this is the hospital. Some tourists are coming out. You must take that shot. Ah, no, no, it's okay. Where? No, no, it's it's totally fine. Where are we going? No, I mean just. Ah, you want to show me that? I think ah, okay. you didn't. Yeah, sure. Shoot. That's right. <laughs> All right, there's the ambulance. It's okay, brother, we can go. And there's a surprising thing is that there is actually lots of greenery, which is amazing. Lots of trees and uh, otherwise. This is all ambulance. Ah, this is all ambulance. Otherwise, whole island would be burning because it's so hot here. But there are lots of trees and plants which makes the vibe a little bit better and we are going to school right it's on the right side now wow this is the best way to travel on the island everyone has some scooter like at least one scooter per family in like how many scooter you have in the family in my house we have three or four four <laughs> how cool is this each room one. Each room. <laughs> so I not each house. Job. Each room yeah, has like a my, one scooter. My wife and me, we, we have one. Uh -huh. And uh, like my wife's uh, brother and his wife have like each one have one. One. So two. Right. two. They have so this two. is the school. Yes, yeah, school. Nice. I wanna show. I wanna go inside. Yeah. If it's okay. I think. Ooh, perfect. My wife work. Ah, your school. wife is working here. Teacher. And she today is, no work. Today's yeah, today uh, Friday, today's Saturday. Juma. Okay, yeah, nice. So they have a nice area here this where you can sit. Stay, stay, yeah. yeah, you can also play football right there. Yeah, that, this is handball mainly. Ah, handball. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. So school is closed today, but we're gonna go check it out inside. So when I was here last time, there was some uh, performance were going yeah, on. This is their stage. This is the stage yeah. yeah, this small Assembly stage where they area. do the stuff. Right. And they had some team, I think, they were working on some scenes. As I said, and lots of green area for the kids and, here, and too. Here we have up to grade 12 standard. Preschool. 12. Ah, so all the all the there's only one school in the island, yeah, right? Yes, so yes. you have basically you can be born here, yeah, go yes. to school, and finish the school at the same place. Yes, yes. You don't have to go different island. Yes, yes. Amazing. Here and we have up to grade 12, but most of the Maldives they have up to grade 10 only. 10. Okay. 10 is the maximum yeah. mostly, but here we have up to 12. So very few islands are there up to 12. Up to 12. Because okay. there must be students and other things. Yeah. Then only. So government provides that facility. if you reach to 10 11 you have to move to different island to study basically yeah or go to mali yeah. or go to mali yeah. so this is the little school this is where they have the classes maybe i can try to look at inside from the windows at least and it's actually two floors here one floor here and then another floor right here which looks great super colorful i think we can uh, check it out from one of these rooms maybe that one of the door is open possibly i'm not so sure our class is out of this world <laughs> that's a nice oh the room is open check this out guys Woo! this is where they are sitting down and then they have the board they have the tv if they want to present something looks great our future is limitless incredible don't look at the stars B1. Wow, this is really inspirational room. How cool is this, guys? It's amazing. Let's uh, have a look at maybe another room here. I guess these are kind of offices. 
yeah, these ones are offices, so ah, grade 7A, grade A1. Is this open? No, this one is not open, but uh, you can kind of see the inside like this. So there are different grades actually coming in different times. So first grade to fifth grade, they come in the morning. And then after 12, there is another batch of classes happening. So they are basically using the same space for different classes, which is incredible. There's also a little play zone here for the little kids, maybe after school to relax before their parents pick them up. It's incredible. This is also a school area. Ah, they, are building, they are building a new yeah, school. No, wow. the same school, like enlarge, ah, enlarging. Enlarging it. Wow. Extending. So there is a construction going on on the other side. And then I realized uh, there is an Indian flag on those ah, stuff. This is, is this funded by India? Yeah, they're funded. By, yeah. So there are this little outdoor gym area where you can do little activities. And I've seen an Indian flag on it. So I was expecting it it's probably funded by india too that's the reason there's a little indian flag next to maldivian flag as you can see here india maldives partnership to promote healthy lifestyle and there are instructions how to do the exercises so i think people come here during the sunset time or after because right now it's so super hot all right brother thank you so much for showing me around You've been which very nice. You, have been, you are staying in which guest house? Uh, I stay in a Rantare hotel. Rantare. Yeah. So, which is a very nice. Yeah. So this is basically one long street here. There are houses, guest houses, shops, and we have the little school here. And I'm happy that I showed you a little part of Ukulhas, what's available here, what people does, and brother. Thank you so much. You've been uh, super kind to show me around and uh, especially yeah. during hot time. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right, guys. I think uh, this is the end of the first video from Ukulas. There's going to be another one. We're going to go for lunch. I will show you the gym and uh, we will see what else uh, activities we can do here. See you later. If you come here,